Welcome back to Learn Academic English. I'm Jenna, and on this channel, I help English learners take their language to a higher level, especially for school and work. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you a listening lesson. This is something very similar to what I do with my students that I teach in person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a short lecture about biology. This is useful for everyone. If you're studying biology or sciences, or if you want to be a healthcare worker, like a nurse or a doctor, this is going to be a great first step. But even if you're not studying one of those subjects, this is a great way to improve your academic listening. So I'll give you a short lecture. You're going to listen. And while you're listening, you're going to try to take notes. Remember that when you take notes, you need to write down only the most important information and you need to move quickly. That means that you're going to skip a lot of words. You're going to try to use abbreviations and symbols when possible. And you're also going to keep in mind that it's really important to listen actively. So try to focus on the most important ideas. If you're not able to get them all down, that's totally okay. You can listen more than once if you would like to. Then after the listening, I'm going to give you a series of questions that you're going to answer based on your notes and based on what you remember from the listening. And at the end, of course, we will check the answers together. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful. Leave a comment and subscribe if you want more lessons like this one. And please note that I offer memberships here on my YouTube channel if you would like more connection with me every week. And I teach online classes. Check the description box below for more information. Okay, let's get into the listening. Let's begin the listening. In this listening test, you're going to do three things. You're going to listen to me give a short academic lecture. You're going to take notes and then you're going to answer questions. At the end, we're going to check our answers together. So you're going to need some paper and a pen or a pencil to take notes during the listening today. So part one, we're going to listen and take notes. And the subject of this academic listening is biology. We are practicing how we can listen to something like this in school. If you are a high school, college or university student and you need to study in English, you can use this to help you prepare for that type of listening. So notice that while we're doing the listening, we're going to listen and take notes. When you take notes, you want to focus on the most important information. You're going to take notes, but don't try to write down every word and use abbreviations for some common or important words. For example, you're going to hear the word biology a lot, but you can use the abbreviation bio to save time. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the listening. And after we do the listening, then you're going to use your notes to answer some questions and we'll check the answers together. So be sure to stay until the end. So good morning, everyone. We've been learning about science lately. Today, we're going to look at one of the most important subjects in school, biology. First, we'll talk about what biology is, and then we'll look at some examples of what students study in a biology class. So be sure you have your paper and pen or pencil ready so that you can take notes during our short lecture today. So let's begin with a big question. What is biology? Biology is defined as the study of living things. Let me repeat that. Biology can be defined as the study of living things. In fact, we can break down the word biology into two parts. Bio means life and ology means the study of something. So biology is the study of life or the study of living things. 
But what kind of living things does biology cover? Well, biology includes the smallest living things, even things that we cannot see, like bacteria or cells. Other times, biology studies larger things like insects, plants, and animals. Of course, all of those are living things. And let's not forget humans. So let's move on to the next part about uh, living things and different types of biology. So the topic of living things is complex and there are actually several types of biology. Some of the most common types are zoology, which is the study of animals, ecology, which is the study of how creatures interact with their environment, how creatures interact with their environment, that's ecology. Number three, anatomy, which is the study of the parts of the human body, and botany. Do you know what botany is? Botany is the study of plants. So those are four examples of different types of biology. Now, we cannot understand biology without an understanding of the most important unit of life. The most important unit of life. Can you guess what it is? The most important unit of life is called the cell. A cell is so tiny that we cannot see it with our eyes. Or as we say, we cannot see it with the naked eye. In other words, we have to use a tool to see cells. We have to use a microscope. Cells are the smallest unit of life, but they're the most important because all living things are made up of cells. Cells are what make us grow and keep us alive. But as we get older, our cells start to die. When people get sick, for example, with cancer, our cells change. And when people are exposed to air pollution, our cells become damaged, which can cause serious disease. So what do students study in a biology class? First, students read their big biology textbook and listen to their professors give long lectures about biology. And they find answers to important questions. They learn important terminology about living things. Some of the questions that they need to know are about the processes of causes and effects in living things. Let me give you an example. What is life? They learn about cells. What causes disease? They learn about bacteria and viruses and other small pieces of living things. They learn about how living things are created, how living things reproduce, how they change over time, and how they die. They learn about what makes living things stay alive. Now, you don't need to get down all these examples, but these are just some examples of what students in a biology class learn about. And they learn about plants, like the fact that plants need water, sunlight, air, and the right environment, which includes good nutrients in the ground and enough space to grow. Then, students in a biology class work in a lab. They learn how to use the lab equipment and important safety rules so that they don't get hurt. Next, they learn how to perform experiments. For instance, they look through a microscope and they might see something strange. They have to identify what that is based on its appearance, its size, shape, color, 
etc. And finally, they take tests and write reports about what they learn in both their class and in the lab. So to wrap up, biology is an important field of study because it helps us to understand our world and ourselves. It can help people to not only become biologists, but also to become doctors, nurses, and engineers. But even for students who don't plan to study biology as their major, a biology class is a great introduction to living things. Okay, so now that we're done with the listening part, if you wanna go back and listen one more time, that's totally fine, but we're gonna move on to the questions now. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna use your notes to answer the questions. You're gonna to need to pause the video sometimes. Then when you're done, we're gonna check our answers. And my tip for you is to write complete sentences to practice correct grammar. Okay, so let's go to the questions. Number one, what was the topic of today's lecture? Number two, what's the definition of biology? Number three, what does ology mean in English? Number four, what are four types of biology? Number five, what is a cell? Number six, why are cells important? Number seven, what are four things that students do in a biology class? And number eight, what is one question that students have to answer in biology? Go ahead and pause the video and write down your answers. If possible, answer the questions in a complete sentence so that you can practice grammar and sentence structure. And when you're ready, we will move on to checking our answers. Okay, so now that you've answered the questions, let's check our answers together. Number one, what was the topic of today's lecture? The topic of today's lecture was biology. Number two, the definition of biology is the study of living things. Number three, ology means the study of something in English. Number four, four types of biology are zoology, ecology, anatomy, and botany. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. We're gonna to go to the next ones. Number five, what is a cell? A cell is the most important unit of life. If you wanna give more detail about cells, that's okay too. Number six, cells are important because all living things are made up of cells. Number seven, Four things that students do in a biology class are read their textbook, listen to professor's lectures, find answers to questions about living things, and work in a lab. There might be other things that you can say here as well. Those are four example answers. And finally, the last one, number eight, what is one question that students have to answer? One question that they have to answer is, what is life? Some other possible questions could be, how are living things created? Or how do plants survive? Good job today. Now is the time for you to reflect on your work. Think about your listening and note-taking skills and your ability to answer questions. What was easy for you? What was difficult? And how can you improve? Listening and taking notes in English is not easy, but if you plan to go to school in English, it is definitely something that you need to be able to do well. So be sure to let me know how you do in the comments below, and I would love to hear your feedback on this type of lesson. 
Before you go, I would love to know how you did. Was it hard? And how did you do on the questions? Leave a comment below and let me know. I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care.